Russian squat program, week five. You guys have probably noticed, well, the few of you who are invested in the series have noticed that my uploading's been super slow and clearly I'm already done with the program, but I have to catch up with the videos. I wanted to get this recorded as soon as I could. I've been really busy with a lot of stuff, a lot of little changes in my life lately and work has gotten a little bit busier and I'm actually considering quitting my job soon. So that may mean I'll upload a little bit more in the future. So again, this is the Russian squat program, week number five. And as I've told you guys, my body's pretty fried at this point. Uh, I have a little bit of elbow tendonitis, my knees bothering me, and I was having a little bit of issues in my upper back. I think it was first rib related. I've been doing a lot of push pressing and re-racking the bar on uh, my back rack. And so um, I think that caused a little bit of an issue. Anyways, just to update you guys a little bit, going into this week, I actually felt a lot better. My knee was not bothering me as much. Uh, my first rib issue was starting to feel better too. Elbow tendonitis was still bothering me a ton though. So I tried to make sure I did a lot of rehab for it, stretched out my forearms, and that seemed to make a little bit of a difference. And so we head into day one. Day one was another set of six by twos at 80%. Overall, the six by twos by this point felt as weak as they did at the start of the program. I definitely feel like I've gotten stronger, but my body's pretty fried at this point, and every single squat I do just doesn't feel good. But I truck through it, and on these sets, I'm just thinking, be as fast as you can on the way up. Keep being fast, be speedy. That's gonna prep you for those heavy reps when you get into it on the next week, especially. So I got through the six by twos, and then I rested my body for the Wednesday three by threes at 95%. And this is where I completely fell apart. Finally, week five, missed a set of squats. Again, this is 95%, which for me is 152 kilograms. My one rep max is 161. So I'm going into this, I'm like, oh shit, this is really heavy. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. And I should have been more confident because I did slam the four by four, I did slam the five by five. But on this day, I just didn't have it. Set one, I pick up the bar, I do a squat. Squat feels pretty good. I do squat number two and I'm like, oh man, I do not have this. There's no way I'm hitting rep number three. And watching the video back, it looks like I was fine. Like it looks like I should have been able to hit that third rep. But this set for some reason just felt so much more taxing than any of the sets I've done throughout the entire program. I decided to re-rack the bar instead of going for that third rep. I want to conserve my energy and protect my joints a little bit, especially as I'm peaking for that sixth week. From then on, I decided, okay, I'm going to do doubles instead. We'll do doubles instead of triples, but I'll still do my three sets. So going to set number two, I do a single, a double, and that second rep felt so hard. It felt like a max. So I re the bar. I'm like, okay, what do I do? Do I summon the energy to really kill it on the third set or do I do a single and call it a day? Well, as you can imagine, and as you can see in the video, I just hit a single on that third set. So by the end of this day, I'm feeling pretty defeated. I, I didn't hit the reps I needed to and that makes me worried that I'm not going to PR at all on week six. At the same time though, I, I know I've been beating my body to hell and that's having a big impact on my joints and I'm, I'm just not as laser focused on slamming these weights. When I have a bad session like that and feel like I've kind of failed for the day, I'm totally super frustrated and feel defeated for maybe like 30 minutes, but then I get over it. We all have to realize that training is always going in waves. There's gonna be peaks and there's gonna be valleys and that's just the nature of the human body. There's too many variables and factors to worry about when you're in this sport, or any sport for that matter. Not only that, but I have to also keep in mind there's way more to life than weightlifting. So anyways, I move on, go on to day three on the Saturday, where I'm doing another six by two at 80%. And this was probably the worst six by two of the entire program. I just kind of lost a little bit of the drive I had earlier on in the program. And that's just because I'm pretty fatigued and because of the last session. Um, I still feel good and I still feel hopeful for what's going to happen the following week. But anyways, finished the 6x2, trucked through the sets, and then this is when I actually started to deload my body from all of the training. So I took out some of my accessory exercises, I, I think I just took out a set, and I lowered the weight on my compound movements for the day, besides the 6x2 of course. And that's all, that's week 5. For the few of you that follow me on Instagram, probably some of the friends who watch the videos, You've seen the results of the program, so some of you already know how it ends. 
Um, but I can't wait to make my final video and really discuss that and dive deep into it. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can. My Instagram handle is Trainers Hate em, no spaces or anything. And also, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff just like this. And also, you can leave a comment down below if there's other stuff you want to see. If you have ideas for me, things you want to learn about, things you're interested in, feel free to comment that. I would love to give you at least a response, whether that's a yes or a no. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.